Zentech is presenting a conceptual sequencing of construction of its 400-foot or 122-meter water depth jack-up drilling rig, the R550D. This animation assumes only a basic waterfront yard, and certainly the sequencing may be different in more developed shipyard facilities. In this example, the rig will be constructed using three crawler cranes, first fabricating, and then joining and assembling modules on the installed skid rails. Here we see the center module being constructed in the module fabrication area behind the skid rail area. Once the module is built, mud pumps and mud pits are lowered in. And finally, the top plate is installed. The center module is moved to the skid rails while the electrical module is constructed in the module fabrication area. In a similar fashion, once the module is built, the engines and electrical equipment are lowered into the module and the top plate is installed. Next, the electrical module is moved to the skid rails and joined to the center module. Next, the forward leg yoke is installed. Followed by the warehouse module, the sack room module, the starboard aft leg yoke and preload tanks, the port aft leg yoke and preload tanks, the aft center preload tank, the starboard aft preload tank, the port aft preload tank, the starboard center preload tank, and the port center preload tank. At this point, the components of the cantilever, the drill floor, and the derrick tower are fabricated. Here we see the cantilever once it has been assembled. Next, the starboard forward preload tank, and the forward port preload tank are installed. At this point, the basic hull is completed, and the forward spud can with base leg section is installed. Meanwhile, leg sections are constructed and moved into position for installing. Next, the starboard aft spud can with base leg section is installed followed by the port aft spud can and base leg section. At this point, the jack tower is installed onto the forward leg, followed by the starboard aft jack tower and the port aft jack tower. Now the on-deck equipment and modules are lifted into place and connected, starting with the P-tanks and forward anchor winches while the quarter sections are moved into position. Here, the starboard quarters section is lifted into place. Followed by the center aft quarters section. And the port quarters section. Next, the helideck is installed. Followed by the shale shaker house. At about this point, the hull tanks are all tested for integrity. Now, the three pedestal cranes are lifted into position and readied for operation. First, the port crane. Followed by the starboard pedestal crane. And the aft pedestal crane. When the rig is ready for skidding into the water, 
the loadout barge approaches the key. As the loadout barge is positioned, skid rails are secured onto it, and the rig is skidded onto the barge. The rig is centered on the barge, and tugs move the loaded barge away from the key. The tugs now turn the barge and rig 180 degrees. and push it back alongside the key with the aft end in position to receive the cantilever. Once alongside the key, the rig is jacked up and the barge pulled out from under it. The rig is then jacked down and is now in position to receive the cantilever which is trucked onto the aft deck and secured. Once the cantilever has been secured, additional leg sections are installed on the aft legs. Now the rig is jacked into the water and tugs pull it away from the key and rotate it clockwise so the starboard side is parallel to the key. Once into position, the rig is jacked up, and the remaining leg sections are lifted onto the rig and installed. Finally, once the rig has its full complement of 555 feet, or 169.1 meters of leg, lifeboats are installed, and the R550D is ready for jacking trials. Zentech. Contact us now for more information on the R550D and other innovative engineering solutions.